Hello people, in this video let us look at the muscles of respiration. Okay, so basically which are the principal muscles for respiration? So look at the principal muscles for inspiration first of all. See what is happening in inspiration, your ribs are going up and your diaphragm is going down, isn't it? Just take a breath and see. Uh, right? So basically in this what happens, the uh, volume of your thoracic cavity should become more. So uh, here what muscles you will be using? You will be using the external intercostals right you'll be using the external intercostals and the diaphragm external intercostals will lift your ribs up and then the diaphragm only two muscles you have to remember guys for inspiration what muscles you will use normally external intercostals and your diaphragm so you want the intercostals to pull your ribs up and diaphragm anyways goes down right the dome shaped diaphragm becomes flat so in inspiration what does happen inhalation inspiration correct only i'm saying right so the ribs are going up and the diaphragm is coming down. The diaphragm is in, 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 uh, instead of becoming, <coughs> it will not, it will usually be dome shaped then it will become flat for you to breathe in, right? For, for you to bring in the air, it will become flat. So that is, uh, it will contract and it will increase the volume of the thoracic cavity. So here they are showing you, right? Outward and upward movement of the rib cage, lower movement of your diaphragm, okay? You already understood two muscles of your uh, inspiration, right? Over. Then what are the uh, muscles of expiration? Nothing to remember. These muscles only will come back to their normal position and then you have the, all this happens by passive only this. So your uh, expiration will happen passive. It will go away. To breathe in only you need energy looks like, right? So only two muscles over. So your respiration part is over. Now what happens if you want to deep breathe, okay? So let us say you want to take, uh, you want to use, uh, take a deep breath inside, okay? So you want to do some forced inspiration. So you will use some accessory muscles of respiration. Right, when what are those accessory muscles of respiration? Take a deep breath. Yeah. So uh, did you did you feel your neck uh, muscles? See, try again. Your neck muscles, right? The sternocleidomastoid. It's pulling your sternum up. Okay, St uh, sternocleidomastoid. Then you have the scalene muscles. The scalene muscles are pulling your uh, ribs up. Okay. And then you have the pectoralis minor. That is, uh, they have not shown here. Uh, uh, the pectoralis minor also will help to pull your uh, ribs outward okay outward it will pull so this is the pectoralis minor you can see what it is doing it draws the scapula forward and downward is the actual action of this then how will it lift the ribs up it will it should it's lifting them outward looks like okay so what do you use when you take a deep inspiration you will use the accessory muscles of inspiration those are your sternocleidomastoid scalene and then you have the pectoralis minor Scalene itself has anterior, posterior and so many other types of muscles, okay. Then coming to forced uh, or uh, accessory muscles of expiration. Now uh, you want to breathe out, come on. Okay, so you want to breathe out. Which muscles are you using guys to breathe out? So here, uh, go to our PPT, yes. See, uh, for, uh, see we have finished this part, okay. Inspiration accessory muscles will finish. Now we will look at ac uh, accessory muscles of expiration. Here you will use the internal intercostal muscle. They are called as internal intercostals, is it? And then you will use your abdominal muscles. Try. You want to breathe out forcibly. So you will use your abdominal muscles. What will you do that? What will that do? It will pull the ribs down. So basically expiration, the whole thing wants to pull the ribs down. Okay. And then your quadratus lumborum also you will use. Where is the quadratus lumborum? Look at this. This is your quadratus lumborum. This is the quadratus lumborum. It will help you in expiration. Okay. Accessory muscle of expiration it is. So you will use your, uh, for uh, expiration, accessory muscles, you will use quadratus lumborum, abdominal muscles like rectus abdominis, uh, external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis, all those muscles you will use. And also you will use your internal intercostal muscles. So those are your accessory muscles of respiration. Come on, can you name all the accessory muscles of expiration? Abdomen, abdominalis, that is all the rectus abdominis, uh, external oblique, internal oblique, uh, and transverse abdominis, internal intercostal muscles, quadratus lumbora. What is the whole intention? Pull the ribs down, pull the ribs down, right? That's it. Great. Then, okay, these are the abdominal muscles uh, we, have sh we have shown you in case you want to see. Rectus abdominis, external abdominal oblique, here you have the internal oblique, abdominal oblique. Okay, then 
Here they are showing you the transverse abdominis inside. Okay. Just look at it. Rectus abdominis, external ob abdominal oblique, internal abdominal oblique and transverse abdominis. Okay. That's it for now. In this video you have learned the muscles of respiration, accessory muscles of respiration, inspiration, expiration, both. Bye-bye.